This is how to disassemble and reassemble a speed cube. The first step is shown by my friend. So what you have to do, you have to place the edge and, and place it inside the Rubik's Cube as shown right here, like this. And then you have to do one layer, this, the second layer, and then the third layer, layer which I'm going to do right now. Back to my friend. Okay, so since my kid is not ready, he'll, he'll have some more time. Continue. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. You have to put all the edge pieces in first. And then when you do that, complete them layer by layer. Do not skip a layer and then go to the next layer. Sometimes that can cause more problems instead of just doing the job once. While my friend is taking his time to do the first layer, I will talk to about how you have to disassemble your speed cube. Okay, the first step to disassembling your speed cube is pull out a single corner, which are these. You can either pull out this or take out the edge piece, which is this one right here. So you just have to twist, you just have to twist and pull like this. After that, you can pull out the other pieces really easily, just by pulling them like this. See? And then you do the first layer, and then you can eventually take out these ones, and then your whole cube falls apart. Or the other way is just by untidying the system a little bit. Sometimes be careful, since your parts can fly out really easily, which is quite hard to deal with. Okay. While I reassemble my cube, you can see his. I've done the, the all the edge pieces now, and I have to just put in the corners for the first layer. Be careful, since sometimes your cube can fall apart really easily. Okay, I'll take over and build the rest of the cube since I have more skill than it. Make sure you hold your cube like this. It's much faster and better. Okay, quickly find your color that you need to put in. Just found it. Place it in like this. Sometimes instead of going straight in and trying to put, force it in, you could put your edge piece or center uh, corner piece like this and then put it from the top and pull it down. That way it'll easily fit in as soon as you put a little pressure. Oh no, <laughs> the magnets popped. Okay, this is oh. a thing that can happen a lot, but it's okay, your cube does, it's not that your cube won't ever fit back. It just happens sometimes. Okay, just fix this really slowly. This only works with magnet cube, by the way. Yeah. 
Uh, no, it can happen with any other cube. So don't. But but, th but this is easier. Um, no, not necessarily. Some cubes uh, can be fidgety even with magnets, and like the Gan three fifty six, their magnets aren't that strong. That'll make a difference ever since in, in your cubing. Yeah. As I did, uh, as I did think that magnets were the only important thing, but not necessarily since this cube is not that good for its price. Yeah. Uh, we mentioned that in our old video, so you can go yes. check that out. It's in our channel. Uh, we're not going to put it in the description since it's not that great. But if you'd like to see it, just click on their channel. Yeah. Okay. Now that we have one more corner, let me quickly find it. Just found it. Now we easily pop it back in. Right like this. There. The first one is done. Okay. Now we just have to put in the edge pieces. So we can't have red on this is the way I made it. Anyway. Uh, okay, just found one, pop it in, repeat for the others, they're really simple, you don't need much force to do yeah. it, your cube won't snap at all, <laughs> it's just pretty easy. Okay, but the, the only thing is, just keep your cube parts organized, since they are pretty annoying to deal with, since it, it's it, taking a long time for me to find this, it would have, it only takes me under a minute to build a whole cube if my parts are organized, so just make sure your parts are organized. It's, it's, if, it's, if it's not organized, it's going to be very hard and it's going to take a long time. There, last layer. Okay, for a last layer, it's a little different since you don't have that much flexibility. But just keep popping in your cubes. Make sure they're the right way. Building it the wrong way has a chance for it to become unsolvable. And you have to take it out and then rebuild it, which is pretty annoying to deal with. The, mo the most common way this could uh, your cube could break is if you accidentally don't know how to tighten the cube properly or loosen it. And sometimes your uh, tightening system for like the GAN or the any other system could break. Th that's a good reason why you should have a screw system instead, just because it's less hard for that to happen. And yeah. yeah. So. Put in the last go. corner. Second last corner. Yeah. Wrong corner. Make sure you put it in your right corner since it is kind of hard to t pull it out. And, and there you go. Wait. And sometimes this happens, just twist it like this. That's yes. pretty easy to deal with. And there you go. And the cube doesn't have to feel anything since it can tear just as well. Yep. It's pretty good. Yep. And now you're done. So, this is how you reassemble and disassemble cube.